Very good morning students. Today we will be discussing the third chapter of novel, The Whip. As the topic, as the title suggests, whip is that uh, leather string tied to a wooden stick. So the title of the chapter suggests that this is more about this whip. And this is used against horses to hit them, to make them, you know, pull the carriage hard. So whenever the horses are not listening, so the rider, whosoever is riding the carriage, would hit the horses with the whip. This is called cruelty against horses, against animals. But yes, this is the fact. This is how Black Beauty is explaining her his entire journey throughout. Now in this chapter, the whip. It is very interesting. Now we have, by now we have understood that uh, Joe Green is learning. Who is teaching him? John is teaching Joe Green every day. And uh, by now, John has some kind of confidence also in Joe Green that he can take care of horses now. By now, he has given him all the tricks of the trade. He has ex explained all the important points which Joe Green needs to keep in mind while looking after the horses. So one morning when the master gives a task to Joe Green that take this letter and carry it to the gentleman, a gentleman who is a brick maker, uh, it's Mr. Clay. Then John, without even thinking twice, he allows Joe Green. He tells him, okay, yes, now I'm confident that you can do this work. You can write Black Beauty and you can take this letter to Mr. Clay. Now he goes to Mr. Clay, the brickmaker. After handing over the letter to Mr. Clay, Joe is writing Black Beauty back home. So this entire novel is explained and narrated in the language of black beauty so he himself is telling everybody that joe green was riding me we were coming back black beauty is mentioning in this novel in this chapter especially uh, they saw another horse rider he was carrying a cart full of bricks and he was trying to push i mean his horses he was trying to you know scream at them shout at them hit them with the whip again and again, forcing them to pull the cart. Cart was very heavy. It was full of bricks. It was the, you know, um, uh, cart driver of Mr. Clay, that brick maker. And he was unnecessarily troubling his horses. They could not pull it because the cart was extremely heavy. So Joe Green suggests him, why are you hitting the horses? You should not, rather help them remove few bricks from the cart so that the horse can carry the carriage easily. But he was not willing to listen. He said, you mind your work, let me do mine. And he continuously hitting the horses and he's troubling them. By seeing all this, Joe Green decides that this is not right. He pulls the head of the Black Beauty towards the Mr. Clay's farm again, to the brickmaker's house again. He goes there. He tells Mr. Clay that one of your horsemen, he's not uh, doing well to the horses. He's not treating them nicely. He's hitting them with the whip again and again. He's forcing them to pull the carriage, but the horses are not able to because it is overloaded. The cart is overloaded. So Mr. Clay thanks Joe Green. He tells him, you have done very well. I will see that fellow and I will not let him stay in my farm more than this now. I will just take some strict action. I will throw him out of the job. So with this, you come to know that Joe Green has developed a kind of so much liking for horses. He's so sensitive. He's not only looking after his own horses, the horses which belong to his farm or his master. He's rather so sensitive to all the horses around. Whomsoever he come across and he feels that this horse needs some help, he is immediately ready to do that. So while helping those poor horses by telling Mr. Clay that your uh, horseman is not taking care, so he helps those poor horses also, those who were hit again and again with the whip. So for this, when Joe Green returns back home, John also praises him, his master also praises him that you have done something really nice. So this place is where Black Beauty is right now. It's a Birtwick. It's a beautiful place now. Black Beauty by now is enjoying his life there. It's been three, four years. He had absolutely wonderful time. Joe Green is looking after him. John is very good. Their master is very good. Now the time is passing. But in the meantime, their mistress, 
wife of the master she was not keeping well because of this uh, very cold weather the mistress was falling ill again and again so when they when master discuss this situation with the doctor he suggests that you have to move to a warmer place now when the doctor says so that means they cannot live in england and when they cannot live in england they cannot keep this farm they cannot keep the horses so this was again a very uh, change very big change for the horses very big change for the family where the mr square garden along with his wife they had to leave birtwick they had to leave their horses behind and they had to move to a new place a very warmer uh, place like warm countries we live in india india is a warmer country england is a colder country so they had to look for some place which is warmer so when they do so they have to give away their horses also how many horses they have they have three horses one is merry legs it's a mare the other is a ginger it's a pony and the black beauty is the horse so these three needs to be given away now merry legs is given to mr bloomfield the visar the priest of uh, butwick uh, mr square garden just gives away black beauty uh, merry legs to the priest of the village and then he's left with two horses like one is black beauty the other is ginger now he plans to sell them to his very close friend he also had a farm and he was sure that his friend will take care of these horses so he send he sells his both the horses the black beauty and ginger to his very close friend but before that they had to do a lot of shifting so black beauty merry legs had a lot of work they had to carry the cart they had to carry the carriages carry all the load so this chapter explain you clearly the feelings and the helplessness that these horses have no will they cannot decide how long they stay with someone so any time their master thinks of selling them off they have to go so the last words there is one more point with merry legs jo green is also sent to the priest's house so jo green goes with merry legs and they are left with john and these two horses so john decides his way himself and uh, ginger and black beauty is sold to his very close friend who also had a farm now the last moment he rode the carriage black beauty rode the carriage black beauty and ginger both rode the carriage to the railway station saying goodbye to their master finally from the railway station they will move to the next destination and that was the last words they say goodbye master wishes farewell to john and he wishes him good luck he also assures john that if you need, ever need some help you can write to us so this is how the third chapter also comes to an end this this is the brief summary of the third chapter i'm sending across the word meanings and question answers too and my dear students please go through it and if you have any doubt please get back to me thank you